uh, Nancy? Wow, we saw the movie last night. Yeah, what'd you think? I didn't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I slept with the lights on. <laughs> God, you guys. <laughs> terrible what you did to us. <laughs> Yay, that's great. It was horrible. Yeah, I wish I could say I'm sorry, but I'm kind of glad. <laughs> yeah, you did what you were supposed yeah. to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, folks, let me know when you're ready. Yep, sure. whenever you are. Are yeah, we good? Ready, Easily one of the most well crafted, terrifying movies I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. <laughs> and it followed me home. So um, i got to ask you guys when, when, you, when you read the script for the first time, did you, was there some like, trepidation inside of you where you're going to have to go with this? Like as actors, what you'd have to do? Yeah, I was like, yeah, this this is I'm going. I've got to do this because I, I love horror movies, and I knew I knew this was going to be a good one. Yeah, yeah. What'd you feel, Rob? I, you know, I kind of got the easy part in the. You weren't as bad in the movie. Yeah, yeah to. it was. I sort of got to be a witness to it all and try yeah. to hold the thing together. But um, no, I was re I was really excited about it. I mean, of course, when I signed on. You know, Lily and Patrick and Vera were already on board, so I, I wanted to get there actually just to see what Lily was going to do. That's you know, see, that's so cool because you guys, but between the two of you, I think you've done 130 movies and TV mm -hmm. shows here. The whole cast is really uh, just just so strong. There must have, to do what you did though. There must have been a really great support group going on amongst cast members. Am I right about that? And crew. And cr yeah. it felt like it yeah. felt like a collaborative theater experience almost because we're with real lesbians oh, yeah and the crew it was in James James is a collaborator oh is he oh yeah e everybody matters everybody he listens to everybody we're all working together his crew's family too they work together on uh, I think the last six or seven cities and the saws and all that kind yeah. of stuff yeah so he, yeah. he takes his people with him and they it's a you know there's they've kind of worked out I think any of those if somebody rubs the wrong way they don't they don't They're stick gone. around. Yeah, yeah. 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 kind of so like an Adam Sandler thing. He just keeps his people that's around. That's right. Good people, you know. Um, the the movie just was was so well done and so intense. Um, but I, I, what is this like as actors to do something like this? Do you, when you when they cut for the end of the day, are you just fine, or do you take this home with you? That's a good question. I, I you know, it was actually, the set itself was not really dark. I think the subject matters is definitely dark oh. enough, and there's a lot of creepy stuff going on. So you kind of have to come at it with, you got to make it safe, and you got to make it fun. And, and you have kids. We have kids there, too. So it's right. like, you know, James is, it's funny. He's a master at all of this stuff, but he's not. I expected him to be kind of like a twisted little gnome or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, not at all. <laughs> yeah, no, no. He's like just a big-hearted... Uh, guy, he just happens to have a, a, a genius gift for this stuff, you know? Right, yeah. I mean, he, he did come from real horror, but is, is there something that's more terrifying about <laughs> something that's based in reality as opposed to like Saw or something like that? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think knowing that that, that happened um, adds, you know, if you're pretending, let's say an actor pretends, but like all of a sudden I'm pretending, I'm like, oh my God, this really happened. Yikes! You know, I got to take a minute here and just take this in yeah. here, um, but then I go into denial and pretend it didn't happen just to get through the day. <laughs> there's, a, there's a certain agreement that an audience has when they go to see a movie that they know is fiction, and, yeah. and the writer says this is fiction, and right. the actors say this is fiction. Um, you know, this story. There's a whole bunch of people out there that that this was their experience. That they say this would happen. So. You know, whether or not that jives with how you see the world, it definitely, it, you can't really write it off in the same way that you could if people were like, ah, we're just going to see a movie. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know? I mean, uh, uh, lastly, as, as actors in, in this movie, and you're playing the husband and wife with these wonderful kids, um, did you, did, do you kind of owe something to them to do this the right way? To, to, to the kids in the movie? Right, yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, you know, I think I didn't even think about that, but I think we had that spirit with mm -hmm. them from day one with them. And I think just, just knowing to help and protect them, but frankly, they were so resilient. They were always like playing games, playing patty cake, singing. They had such a, and they, they helped the crew because if the crew had to start to get heavy, we'd look over to the kids and we'd start just playing with the kids and Amazing. lighten things up. Horrible movie in the best way possible. Thank I mean that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, good. Thanks, I'm glad you got scared. Appreciate it, brother. Oh, so excellent. The whole the whole bunch of us all sat together. I'm so glad. Like all you are gonna come in, all freaked out. It's fantastic. <laughs>